Good evening and welcome to VTV News. I'm Quentin Hall. And I'm Swati Ganesh. Vanderbilt University has joined some of the nation's top universities to challenge President Donald Trump's executive order. The order blocks travel from seven predominantly Muslim countries. The universities are all listed among U.S. News and World Report's top 25 universities. Among them are Brown, Columbia, Duke, Harvard, Yale, Vanderbilt, Princeton, and Stanford. The schools filled an amicus brief at a federal court in New York on Monday. They said the ban has serious and chilling implications for faculty and students. They also insisted that the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Washington's temporary stay of the order be sustained. A Brooklyn judge would be one of the many to hear challenges to the ban. A female student reported that a male student on campus sexually assaulted her. The victim stated the incident occurred in a residence hall last Thursday. The security notice has been sent out to students. The Vanderbilt University Police Department is available to assist you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you need emergency assistance, please call VUPD at 615-421-1911. You can always count on Vanderbilt students to band together to help protect what is right. Vandy graduate student Andrew Cantor has recently been diagnosed with leukemia and was seeking treatment via a clinical trial at Vandy. However, his university's insurance initially denied his coverage of the trial. After his girlfriend shared this circumstance on social media, the news spread like wildfire as numerous friends, family, and other Vandy students shared the story. Numerous students reached out to various administrators and even the chancellor in order to ensure that the issue was resolved. And through this, Cantor is now enrolled in the trial and will be receiving treatment soon. This Saturday, Vanderbilt wants you to throw up your hands and shout. The Vanderbilt University Office of LGBTQI Life is hosting its 8th annual Out in Front Conference. The conference helps college students in the LGBTQI community to develop leadership skills, share resources, and create community. This year, the theme is Shout! Resistance Through Existence. The Out in Front Conference will discuss how people within the LGBTQI community can join forces to enact change and foster acceptance. The conference is open to undergraduate, graduate, traditional school, and trade school students, and is free of charge. Kit Yan, a spoken word artist based in New York, will be the keynote speaker, and Kit will also head a slam poetry workshop. This year, the conference will be held at Surratt Student Center, Saturday, February 18th, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Last semester, VSG made it their mission to update Vanderbilt's protest and dissent policy and statement of principle. They wanted the policies to match what is currently being done at Vanderbilt. The protest and dissent policy is in the student handbook. The statement of principles is mentioned in the student handbook, but enclosed in the faculty manual. Three one-hour focus groups of eight to nine anonymous students were organized. The recruited students were leaders across campus and included all political ideologies. Together, they wrote a report, which is currently being revised by various campus leaders. Key topics that were altered in the policies include open inquiry, non-discrimination, well-being, and protest. VSG will present the report for approval to the Faculty Senate in early March. Vanderbilt University is adding new courses for the upcoming academic year. These courses are the second wave of new cross-disciplinary courses that Vanderbilt is introducing. The aforementioned courses will be offered during the 2017-2018 academic year and will fill the major and program requirements for undergraduate, professional, and graduate students. The six courses are Design Thinking, Design Doing, Rhythm of Change, African Music and African Politics, Virtual Reality for Interdisciplinary Applications, The History and Science of Brewing, Race, Place and Power, and Data Science Methods for Smart City Applications. If you are interested in creating a university courses proposal, a workshop luncheon will be held on Thursday, March 30th from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Alumni Hall, Room 202. For more information on university courses, please visit the Academic Strategic Plan website. Vanderbilt will soon be offering online graduate level degree programs for education professionals. The program that will initially be offered include an online Master of Education in School Counseling and a Doctorate in Leadership and Learning and Organizations. These programs will start to be offered in September of this year and will feature interactive course content in a seminar-style setting. 
Students can even participate in hands-on experiences through internships and practica. These programs will be offered in partnership with 2U, which is already currently used by University of Southern California, New York University, Syracuse University, and George Washington University. Now for this week's sports news, here's VTV News sports correspondent Hannah Waters. Good evening, Vanderbilt. I'm Hannah Waters in for Madison Foglio, and here is your weekly VU sports update. In men's baseball, Vanderbilt Commodores junior Jaron Kendall and junior Kyle Wright have been potentially slotted as two of the top five picks in the Major League Baseball draft. They are already ranked as the number two and number five prospects by MLB.com, and both can be seen as number one picks on some mock drafts. However, this knowledge doesn't distract them, with Wright saying, I'm only concerned with what we're doing here, and our goal is to win games, and that's all I want to do. The team is currently in San Diego for a series of games against the Toreros. We wish them all the best. Vanderbilt was hit hard last week with a 20-point loss to the Missouri Tigers. They now have six official games left before the SEC tournament and are hoping to make a comeback before the end of the season. This Saturday, February 18th at 7.30 p.m., they will be facing the South Carolina Gamecocks away from home. Make sure to tune into the SEC Network and cheer your Commodores to victory. This weekend, Vanderbilt will pay homage to 21 barrier-breaking civil rights leaders in a celebration dubbed Equality Weekend. Both the men's and women's basketball teams will be sporting commemorative Nike uniforms made especially for this weekend, and the honorees or their families will be recognized. This event will also celebrate the 50th anniversary of the first black Vanderbilt basketball players, Perry Wallace and Godfrey Dillard breaking the SEC basketball color barrier in their 1966-67 season. For more information on live updates, scores, and stats, visit VUCommodores.com. For VTV News, I'm Hannah Waters. Thanks, Hannah. Now for this week's weather, here's VTV News weather correspondent, John Horzen. Hello, Vanderbilt. My name is John Horzen here with your seven-day forecast. Friday is going to be much like today, absolutely gorgeous. Sun will be shining all day, high of 68, low of 50. Saturday is going to be the complete opposite, raining all day, low of 45. Sunday is going to be another sunny day, <laughs> high of 72, low of 45. Monday and Tuesday are going to be about the same, collective high of 74, low of 53. Wednesday is looking to be pretty nice overall, with a chance of evening showers, high of 69, low of 52, and to round out our news week, Thursday is going to be particularly cloudy, with a high of 74 and a low of 55. For VTV News, I'm John Horzen. That's all for tonight's broadcast. Thanks for watching VTV News. I'm Swati Ganesh. And I'm Quentin Hall. Tune in next week for more top stories.